In linguistics, this is called the forbidden experiment. If you stuck a bunch of babies on an island, would they make a new language? Would they figure out how to communicate with each other even if they had no one to teach them language? What's really tricky about this is that humans seem to not be able to learn language after puberty. So there's a really unfortunate case of a girl named Jeannie who was basically locked in a basement until she was, I think, 13. Um, and she was never able to really learn language well after that, or like at all, really after that. Now, we can definitely learn new languages, like if you grew up speaking Spanish and you learn English as an adult, that's totally possible. It's harder, but it's possible. The point is, is you have to learn your first language. You have to learn the ability to do language in childhood, it seems. So even if we could or wanted to do this forbidden experiment, it may not even work. There's also the case of the wild boy in France who was discovered in 1799, and I believe he was still a teenager when they found him, and for some reason or another, he had been living by himself, like alone in the woods. Um, and he also never learned to do language. They managed to teach him some basic signs, but they weren't able to, you know, he was never able to learn language. King James IV was also very interested in this question, and so he actually sent a woman who was deaf and dumb, along with two children, to a remote isolated island to see if those children would develop language. He was thinking that he would discover what the original biblical language would be um, if these children started to speak it. We don't actually know what happened to those children, but we can guess that they probably never really learned language. On the other hand, we do know that new languages can emerge out of nowhere. So in the 1980s in Nicaragua, there happened to be kind of a, a critical mass, like enough um, children who were deaf in the same area. They had brought these children together and these children naturally started developing a sign language with each other. Um, and it created a totally new language that wasn't related to any other known language. And this has actually happened a couple times. So language emergence from nothing does happen. 